Welcome to RD Cloud Compute. In this video, I will walk through how to install HPC agent on Linux server. So, have the steps listed in the GitHub uh, site. Um, if you want to go through the, you can look for the HPC Linux agent text. Let's try this procedure. I have a um, Red Hat Linux or a that's Rocky Linux 8. Um, so I'm going to try installing um, the HPC Linux agent on this one. So I already have the HPC head node, single Microsoft HPC 2019 running on single uh, node cluster. So I have a head node, it's online. So by default, when you install a head node, it the installation creates few uh, uh, windows file shares so in that you will you can see uh, rem install the remote installed folder in that folder you will be able to see a, a folder called a linux, a linux node agent so these are the files we need to uh, need to get this copy this files basically we need to copy these files into the uh, uh, linux server so that it can be installed so um, there are a couple of ways um, uh, you can use uh, uh, SCP, uh, WinSCP kind of uh, tools to copy those files directly to the uh, Linux server or you can um, by default this share as uh, read only for everyone you can change that to um, read only uh, read write and try to mount it in the um, Linux server or you can create copy this contents and create a new file share and uh, mount it so so to mount that you need um to have the casf install uh, casf utils install let me try this method first okay nothing to do it is already installed on my server good let's try this so if you are using Ubuntu, it's you can use this old apt install to get the package install. So I'm gonna create um, path. It's gonna create a share. Uh, it's a file path uh, uh, SMB share. Let's create that folder. So ls slash. share folder has been created let's next it's you have to mount that file share um, I, this i'm just going to use the same hpc remote install folder this one so i need this one i'm going to use it so let me copy this one so what i will do is so this is the one i'm going to update and execute directly on this so let's duplicate. So this is a share. So I'm gonna use. So we're gonna use this command to mount this particular folder. Um, this particular file share, uh, Windows file share, will be mounted to slash SMB share. So I have everything here. So let me type in the password. Okay. So I'm gonna directly paste on the SSH connection on partition and execute this uh, command, the mount command. Okay, cute. Not resolve address. Okay. So So I'm gonna add my name server, uh, domain controller as a name server so that. that can resolve 
resolve the HPC head node um, um, IP address. So I'm gonna delete this one and I'm gonna add my domain DNS server 192.168.0.1. So I'm gonna save this file, resolve.com file. So let me show you again. So it is etc slash resolve.conf. So this I got my server, DNS server, primary DNS server from my domain added to this con file. So now I should be able to ping HPC01. Okay, let me try the full name rdcc.local. Yep, clear this. Okay, let me update this. Uh, let me use the FQDN name rdcc.local. So I'm going to use the FQDN name for the server. And paste execute. Yes, it's mounted. It's DF. Should be able to see the share. So let's DF. So let me list this content. So now we have this, let me cd cd linux so we got all the files we needed uh, under this folder or you can use one of the uh, scp tools i prefer uh, prefer the win scp portable ones you can download it directly from the win scp site so just open this SCP, connect um, WinSCP and connect to your server, port 6, and the password for a connection, 7, login. So let me choose the temp folder, TMP, and the TMP double dose, I will go to the Okay, so now we got uh, this HPC Linux agent folder here. So what I will do is I will go to a little bit up parent directory so that I can copy the entire Linux. So just drag this Linux node agent folder to the TMP, the temp folder on the right side on the Linux server. Yes, I want to copy this content. Yep, the transfer is completed. Let's try ls less tmp. We have this Linux one. So ls less tmp. Yep, we got the contents. So we got everything, uh, uh, the uh, set of files what we need uh, to install the agent. So the next thing is we need the certificate, uh, the HPC head node certificate. So we already have the certificate created by the H, uh, head node on the same uh, HPC uh, head node share you will be able to see uh, under the remote install certificates. So you will see it by default there is a CER.CER file. details you can see that it's a dot CER so if you look at the contents of the CER um, so this is how it looks like so uh, we want the CRT format uh, the fire uh, certificate should be in the CRT dot CRT format so what we're going to do is open the certificate in the windows just Click on the details tab, copy to file, click next. 
select the base 64.cer click next and browse and save it to the same i prefer to save in the same name but with a different extension make sure you don't overwrite the existing one so i'm just given this dot cr crt save next finish okay cancel all this so now we got this crt file let's check the file extension so it's something i saved this dot crt dot cr so what i'm gonna do is go to view file name extensions just make sure i just have only the c dot crt yes if you try to open this one open with notepad it should look like something this big and certificate and end certificate and a clear text format okay now we get the certificate let's move the certificate um uh, to the server so either you can use this uh win sap method or you can use the uh, existing smp path so let me let me uh, try uh, let me show you how to copy the certificate from the smb sir so let's change the directory to slash smb and certificates ls We need this .crt file so this needs to be copied to a specific folders under the ca anchors or uh, ca anchors under rocky or um, ca certificates for the uh, if you are using in uh, ubuntu uh, linux okay let me copy the files to this one so to the for that cp so this is a source file we want and that to be copied to this location yep let's make sure it is copied copy process yep the file has been copied dot crt so make sure you execute one of this command based on your uh, linux uh, flavor you are using so i'm have a rocky one i'm gonna update use this update command it's done so the next one is we need to um, the setup file uh, the agent setup file is uh, uh, the python uh, based one so you need a python installed on your server so make sure you have the uh, python installed so i'm going to use the dnf install python yes it's going to install the python 3 yes yeah i'm okay with this Click. yep it's installed you're good the next one is to execute this one okay let me copy this to notepad and do the necessary changes okay let's see what is there increase the font size okay install connection string the connection string will be the head node names so i'm going to use hpc01 so since i'm uh, my uh, uh, linux machine is not uh, connected to the domain and i prefer to use the fqdn so i'm going to use rdcc.local and then the certificate path for the pfx file is so i'm not sure the document microsoft documentation says it's a pfx file you need and if you already installed the certificates but still i will i uh, have a pfx file created I, i'm going to use that one so if you don't know how to uh, get this pfx rather for the my previous uh, video on how to install compute node so in that i have explained how to get this pfx extracted um, i will put the link in the description
So let's make copy this one the PFX. So uh, or we can use this file uh, which we have it. We already have that one under the share mounted uh, SMB share. So I'm going to use this one. And this PFX name. Okay, let me try executing this one. And let's make sure we we are under the uh, set of file where we have the binaries uh, agent binaries. So let me go back. See Linux. Okay. Let me execute from here. It's the Python command not found. So I tried with Python 3, it didn't work. So I'm going to try with Python 2. Let's try installing Python 2. Yes, let's install. Okay. And let's go to SMB share Linux. Okay. So the Python command not found. Boom. Python 2. Please enter the input of the certificate protection password. Okay, we don't have any password. Okay, let me try with this PFX file. Okay, it's installed. Let's check the status in the HPC. Okay, I had a uh, issue uh, with my uh, Linux system. I was using an uh, DHCP issued IP address and DNS, so I wasn't using uh, uh, static uh, DNS settings. So that's so that's why the reason was when the service restarted or a server was restarted, it wasn't able to communicate with the HPC head node. And then I've now changed um, uh, the IP address and DNS settings to static and restarted the network service and the HPC serv uh, service and um, also restarted the Linux uh, server. Now I can see the um, my Rocky Linux system under under the Linux template. So if you go back, you can. Should be able to see under the Linux nodes. Let's bring it online. Yes, now you have it. So now we have the Linux node node online. Let's see if I can run a job on this. Under, see under the resource. Okay, resource selection. Yeah, I can see the Linux node on this. So there are a couple of things. Um, so I need to add. So basically, we have to um, use the Python two. Um, so Python three is not supported. So you make sure you have uh, Python two uh, uh, six and above is installed. Okay, we have covered um, uh, how to install um, HPC agent. Windows HPC agent on a Linux, uh, Linux server. Um, that's all for this video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.